My favorite feature in Animal Crossing is the ability to renovate your villagers' homes. So let's do it again. Three villagers, three different themes, all in one day. Here's how it went. First up, we had Gonzo, and I wanted to try giving him a cottage core country style cabin. But you'll soon find out that that didn't last long. I don't know why, but like with Gonzo, even though he's like a rugged, woodsy dude, like I get Ron Swanson vibes from him. I feel like he would have like a cottage core house. I don't know, maybe it's the fruitiness. I'm giving Gonzo a nice cute little cottage. We're gonna keep the cabin vibes very strong. I'm struggling to describe this if it's not obvious. I haven't designed a villager's home in this game in such a long time. I haven't done designing in general ever since that whole like designing an island in 30 days challenge. I've been trying to like take a break from the whole thing because it was definitely a lot of work. Let's just get that out of the way. Like, does that look cute? Does that look like something Gonzo would live in? I think that wall would probably work better. I do feel bad for giving him like a rundown vibe. Although I feel like the rundown aesthetic does suit Gonzo. Cause like I said, he's very, very rugged. Kind of want to divide the space up into like a bedroom and like a kitchen living situation. Don't expect anything revolutionary today. We're just having fun and doing things the way I want to. Y'all can't stop me. I'm going to bring back the bed and put that right underneath the window. Should probably move the bed or the wall down one bit so you can actually walk in. You know, he is married to Dobie on my island, so obviously every now and then Dobie would like to come and visit him. Can we blame him for wanting enough space for him and his husband? No, we can't. Gonzo is definitely a crafty bitch, okay? Like, let's get that out of the way. He definitely has, like, a built-in shelf on this side of his room. Maybe, like, that would instead. Sorry, I keep moving the camera. I'm trying to get used to this pro controller. I'm only now starting to, like, properly use it, and it's definitely weird. I'll say that much. Do I like that wood or... No, we're gonna go with the dark wood. I think the dark wood would look nicer. Maybe I'm just biased because I like dark wood. This might be weird, but I think I'm going to leave this wood over here in the natural color just for some variation. I'm going to grab that one ceiling shelf that we have in the game, this one, and put it right on top like this. I've seen so many people do this on Instagram, by the way. So like, this is definitely not an original idea. If you're not new to the channel, I don't know why you would expect me to come up with original ideas. I want to put a wardrobe next to the bed in that corner to like fill up the space or whatever. Does the ranch come in a dark wood? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, since it doesn't come in a dark brown, let's just go a completely different direction and make it white. If it's not gonna match, you might as well just go campy with it and really make it not match. You know, that's probably the best way to look at it. Where is my trusty item? My favorite wall item in the entire game, this retro radiator. I love that radiator so much. I think it's just because we don't really have radiators up here unless you live in like a really old building. And I want a house with a radiator so bad. They just look so cool to me. I don't know why. Wall vents just look sexier. It's true. I have to say it. I feel like he would have a coffee plant. Now that's too small. We need a nice big juicy plant. We'll use the cocoa plant. I love the cocoa tree. What can I say? I feel like that's the bedroom side sorted for now. This is like a nice cute layout. Let's give him a kitchen. Cottage core. When I think cottage core kitchen, I think like countryside. I think like farmer vibes. Let's try and go for that farmer vibe with this kitchen. Right away, I'm thinking the ranch furniture set like this for sure. I feel like this brick oven would definitely work too, but that is so big. Oh God, I did not realize how big that item is. Should I give him this instead? Just go really out there. Maybe here. Ooh, that's a perfect spot for it, don't we think? We can make like a cute galleyway kitchen. That's the vibe. That's definitely the vibe. Where is the fridge? Oh, that is so crowded. Maybe that's a bad idea. Damn it, why are villager homes so small? Why can't they be bigger? God, Nintendo, can you get one thing right? Okay, maybe we could put the sink all the way there and kind of make like an island. And I think I'll just grab a fridge and then call it there. Or maybe this stove. I'm embarrassed to admit how long it's taking me to figure this layout out. We should probably just get rid of these poles and move the wall down one space. And then bam, ugh, so much more room to breathe. I can fit everything on one wall and move everything back. Oh, that's what I should have done this entire time. Wow, why didn't y'all tell me that? Y'all should have been yelling at me in the comments. Now I feel a little more comfortable with what I'm doing and I can comfortably admit that I don't like this there. I think what would be fun instead, I've seen once again, we're copying Instagram, 
We're gonna do this and this, and then where is that one shelf item? That. We'll make these shelves brown, and then we'll make the stove green instead. I think that would be fun. I've lately been so obsessed with green. Like, I've noticed I've been using a lot of green lately. I don't know what is up with that, but like, I'm not complaining. I love green anyways. Okay, this is gonna be stupid, but like, I have this Dobby design. <laughs> Will this make Gonzo look like a simp? A simp for his husband? You know what, Gonzo? Simp for your husband all you want. You should be allowed to do whatever you please. I don't know what color to make this. Why do I keep pressing the plus button? I'm thinking the white, but like the white doesn't really go with anything else in the room. It feels a little too out of place, but I don't like this brown. It doesn't go with the rest of the place either. So it's like so confusing. Does this room read cottage core to y'all? I don't think it's reading cottage core. I'm just gonna say it's cottage core and y'all are just gonna have to deal with it. And I'll put the radio back because I love a good radio in my villager homes. I feel like that's a good layout for now. So with that, we could probably get into like some zhuzhin for the island. I'm probably gonna put like a cute little plant or maybe some food. What type of food do we think Gonzo would make? Um, like of all these, do you think he would make curry? <laughs> would he make biryani? I'm gonna make him make biryani, sure. I just want biryani right now, that's why. Shout out to biryani. I don't really care for rugs in this game though. So like, as you can see, I don't have a lot of rugs to choose from. Wait, where did all these rugs come from? I actually have a lot more rugs than I thought I did. We'll just put that one. I don't know, <laughs> like I don't care for rugs in real life either. So that's good enough. But I'll probably stick this lacy rug over here. Cause this is like the only rug that I find myself using because one of the few that I actually like. What would he put on a built-in shelf in his bedroom? Gonzo may be a fruity bitch, but he's still definitely manly. So giving him like a vanity mirror probably won't make sense. I don't think Gonzo washes his face. Let's be honest. And I feel like he's the type of man to use a bottle crate as like a stool. I'm not gonna give him that. That's disgusting. But like, maybe we'll give him this mom's cushion. You know, like most men, he has a soft spot for his mom. It's like hidden away. Like maybe it's back there. So like no one can get to it. No one can see it because he is secretly a mama's boy. What would Gonzo have displayed on his shelf? Not a lamp, but I am going to put a lamp on this nightstand. Maybe like this vintage TV just so that he can actually get some entertainment. I'm gonna get rid of that though. And I think I'm gonna put a plant there instead. Yeah, Gonzo looks like the type of man to have a plant. Ooh, maybe like this phone. Well, it could be like an antique. Does this look like an antique? I mean, I guess nowadays it probably is. So maybe he just has that to like show off the fact that he's old because that's something to brag about nowadays. Now we gotta decorate the walls. I just think these bottle shelves make like good upper kitchen cabinet storage, you know? A painting, he definitely would have a painting. Dobie has a bunch of paintings in his house, so maybe Dobie gifted him one, this one. Nice, literally, that's what it's called. And I think, oh, ceiling. Oh my God, I always forget ceiling items. I like these curtain things. They kind of add dimension to the room. I honestly, did not even realize this was an item in the game. A range hood. That is so high up. Is it normal to have a range hood that high up from the stove? I'm gonna leave that there because I think that's funny. Why is it so far away from the stove? All right, now we're done. This is Gonzo's house. What do we think? Do we think it's cute? Because I do. I'm quite a fan. Only I can get a photo without Tom Nook here. I hate that you can't hide villagers. <laughs> like we're literally gonna, this is for the thumbnail. We're gonna have to be in it. Tom Nook, we're gonna pose together for this thumbnail. Three, two, one. He didn't post. Clearly it's not reading as cottage core, but it does read as cabin vibes. So we'll just call it a cabin core home. That's cute. I'm a fan of it. Let's go to the next house now. Next up, we got Benjamin. And once again, the clown jumped out. I originally wanted to do farm core, but my imagination ran wild and this happened instead. Oh. Wow, I've actually never seen the inside of Benjamin's house before. This is definitely not what I expected and definitely not in line with what I was planning on doing. Wait, I don't want to get rid of this. This is actually kind of cute. I'm going to get rid of it, but like I feel just know that I do feel bad. Okay, with Benjamin's house though, um, once again, we're going to stick to my comfort zone because I kind of want to do farm core with like an abandoned vibe to it. <gasps> Oh my God, are we surprised by that? We're gonna definitely play around with these walls because I have like this patty field wallpaper in the background. Although I don't think I'm gonna use that one as the back wall because it doesn't really go with the rest of my island. I feel like this, it makes sense with like Fallbrook's vibe. Fallbrook is in a jungle, but like this is the closest to Fallbrook. So we'll work with this. I'm so sorry to Benjamin, but like he is gonna be sleeping on like, 
dirt. His house is gonna be very like rugged and outdoorsy and abandoned. You're probably gonna feel bad for him. Please don't, but like, you're gonna feel bad for him. <laughs> I wanted to use that little kitchen thingy, the stonework kitchen. Like, I think I'm gonna put that here. We're getting rid of the windows because the windows are bothering me. I feel like he would have this too. Like, what if we just gave him like this kitchen corner? He just loves to cook. I don't know what is it with me and making my villagers obsessed with cooking. I think it's just because I really like the kitchen items. So I just want to use them in every single home. We're going to put these wheat fields like all across the back over here because I just think it looks cute. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll probably grab a wall and do that. I don't know why. Like, I just, when I look at Benjamin, he's kind of ugly. I know. And like, I feel like he would live in like a shack. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's weird. I just really want to do this. We're going to grab this bed, like a nice futon. Like, he's just going to have that on the floor over here. Cute. Maybe like, we'll put it that way. And like, we'll give him another one. Because like, maybe he wants to have a friend over. Him and Poppy have gotten so close on the island immediately, which like, we're not surprised. Poppy and Benjamin are like the best duo. You know, that's one of the reasons why I wanted Benjamin on the island. And like, I'm so happy that they're actually friends. But this bed there, that bed there, we'll make this bed green. And I want to make this bed blue. One is for Poppy. One is for Benji. They come here to have sleepovers. That's the story. Oh my God, that's the story. This isn't Benjamin's house. He just comes here when he wants to hang out with Poppy. He's actually roommates with Poppy. Oh my God, they were roommates. I'm making up the lore for this island as I go, as you can see. Yeah, oh my God, I just came up with the story right now. This is their hangout zone. Um, they come here to have sleepovers and because they're boys, it's obviously messy. That works out perfectly. That's what I'm doing. So we're going full on sloppy vibes. Wow. I did not realize you can customize this chair this much. I knew you can change the color. I didn't realize you could change the cushion too. There's a bear, a strawberry, a butterfly, a train. When were you able to do that? Has that always been a thing? Am I just finding out? As you could tell, I clearly don't customize my items often. I don't know why. I just, I like using what the game gives me. Also, I'm just lazy to buy customization kits every now and then. So like, that's the real reason. I feel like they would have a froggy chair. Let's give them the froggy chair instead. They just like share their comics and everything that they like bring together and buy and collect they are clearly adults but like they give me spongebob and patrick vibes so we're just gonna embrace that maybe there's just like a chainsaw like over here you know just in case things get a little too frisky like i think benjamin keeps a chainsaw in here just in case i love that i just like came up with this right away this wasn't the plan my plan was to go like dingy old farmer's house and like somehow some way it just like transformed into like an abandoned shack that these two party boys just found. I'm talking like frat boy vibes. Does this look like somewhere a frat boy would live? Cause that's what I'm getting. We need like some food items. Like we're gonna get this snack, maybe a cupcake, sure. I'm really trying to crowd this place up as much as I can. We're gonna make a cookie bag cause I think cookies are more fun than chips. Sorry, it's true. I don't know where to put the cupcake. Where does it tell me to put the cupcake? Okay, the cupcake can stay there. They would definitely have takeout with them. So we'll put like that, maybe like some bottles. Cause you know, it gets a little too turnt over here. These are some party boys, let's be honest. I feel like with my builds, I'm always just trying to like fill up the space as much as I can. I'm a maximalist. I feel like that's what I'm realizing when it comes to Animal Crossing. In real life, I hate clutter, which is so ironic. But like in the game, I just love filling up spaces with as much items as I can because I just feel like it looks cooler. That's just the best way to explain it. I do it for the aesthetic purposes. And I feel like it's just because like, I know nobody's ever gonna like actually walk in here. Does that make sense? They wouldn't have actual decorations in here. This is a shack. Like, I feel like they would have this periodic table but they wouldn't know what it means. Like they would just think it's like a bunch of words. I feel like they would have this exit sign, but it would be over here as like decoration. I don't know, kind of like how people use stop signs as decoration. They would definitely have a poster. Like Benjamin would definitely have his poster <laughs> up on the wall. And you know what, while we're at it, where's Poppy's poster? Do I not have Poppy's poster? Oh, I want to give them one more poster though. Maybe Teddy, because Teddy is definitely a part of the squad too. So like they just have their posters on the wall. Why do I not have anything from Poppy? He's my best friend. Oh my God, I'm a fake friend. Why don't I have his photo or his poster? What the fuck, Poppy? That's so rude. I think like this is good enough. Isn't this like such a vibe? Oh my God, I think we're starting to sense a theme here. This was supposed to be farm core and it ended up being this. Interesting, if I do say so myself. Can I just say, I've had this island for two years 
and like everything is unlocked. Why is this still an option? Yes, yes, that is the question. I can't think of any more advice to give to you. Then why is that still an option? I never understood that. Finally, we got Lopez and the theme- Ew, he's wearing a dirty tank top. He didn't even bother to change before he came to town hall. Anyways, I'm here today because I feel like Lopez's home deserves a makeover. I think it's finally time that I bury the hatchet and stop being like such a bitch towards him, even though he is a bitch. I'm gonna actually give Lopez's home a proper makeover. Lopez stands, you all have won. Don't think it's what he deserves, but uh, I mean, you know, in order to beautify the town, I think it is what he deserves. Now, originally, like he had a very like concrete vibe to his house with the concrete walls. Um, I just kind of did that because I wanted Lopez to suffer. In reality though, when I look at Lopez, I think like bohemian. I don't know why, maybe it's just this color scheme. I get that kind of vibe. So today I kind of want to go in that route with Lopez's home, give him a nice cute little boho beachy vibe. Think the house from the Uncharted 4 epilogue, that's kind of the inspiration because oh my God, that house is so pretty. Like it's not even funny. I would safely say like, that's my dream home. Without a doubt, if I had to choose anywhere to live in the world, I would choose the home from the Uncharted 4 epilogue. Like that is easily my favorite house. Do I have like a beach wallpaper? Like, I mean, he lives in the middle of the forest, so, it doesn't make sense for him to have a beach background. I feel like this would make more sense or like this, like he just has like a house with an ocean view. Yeah, cause like, you know, the lake is behind the house anyway. So I guess that makes sense. Even though there's a bunch of trees, it's Animal Crossing. We can just pretend let's not dwell too deep into this. I mean, I guess like, cause for me, my dream house in the whole entire world would be the Uncharted 4 epilogue home, but like in the mountains. So I guess I can just do that for Lopez. Ugh, I hate that I'm like turning my dream into his reality. And yet here I am doing it anyway. So like, maybe I should just shut up and keep doing it. I love Uncharted 4 so much. Like I would say that's probably like my all time favorite video game, which is surprising. I know we probably thought it would be like an Animal Crossing game, but no, it's Uncharted 4. And the main reason it's just, it's the vibes, okay? Like the vibes of Uncharted 4 are just so Correct. The music, the aesthetics, the overall like color scheme, the story. If I had to choose a world to live in, I would choose Uncharted 4, which is weird because it's like, there's nothing exciting about it. The fact that Nate literally gets stranded on an inhabited island in like Madagascar and it was so pretty. Like that entire chapter where he was just walking around half conscious looking for his fucking gear because his boat crashed onto an island. Sam, his brother was missing. Like he had no idea where anything was. And I was sat there playing the game like I want to go to there so badly. They really did that. That game is so gorgeous. I feel like Lopez's house is about to be like the only home where I actually stick to the theme. <laughs> I really should head back to Happy Home Paradise though to like get more pillars. That's probably a good idea because I only have three of them unlocked. I just don't want to because I don't care that much for Happy Home Paradise. I'm sorry, I have to say it. Happy Home Paradise is kind of boring now. I feel like it was fun at first, but now it's like once you unlock enough of the items and you realize like there isn't really much to do other than just design homes, it gets a little boring. I wanna line the wall up with a bunch of plants to kind of use them as a fence because I don't have like a proper fence. I don't know, like Lopez is so like fruity that I feel like he has good taste, but I'm preventing him from accessing that taste. Maybe like this plant and like that plant and that one. I love plants. I am such a plant whore in real life. Like I have a lot of plants in my room. You can't really see any of them. You can only see that one right there. That snake plant, I'm such a proud plant dad for that snake plant over there because look how big it is. It's a snake plant from Ikea. That is an Ikea plant and look how big it is. I'm giving him a cactus because I can. Oh wow, there really isn't a lot of room back there. I wanted to put this lily record player in here too, just to kind of blend in with the plants. I usually try to stick with the music that the villagers come with just because I want like, you know, keep it their vibe. But KK Condor, I feel like would work best in this room. Also, I love KK Condor. Um, That's easily one of my favorite, like top 10 KK songs of all time. It's true. He just has a bunch of plants because Lopez is a plant whore, just like me. Just thinking about Lopez having a lot of luxuries in his life is making me mad. So I think we're just gonna do this instead. Think like Uncharted vibe, like Uncharted 4, that's my dream house, that epilogue home. Nathan Drake is easily my dream man as well. Let's get that out of the way. I am such a simp for Nathan Drake. It's not even funny. 
He is easily like one of the hottest video game characters in my opinion. It's true. Like when I'm at my DILF age, when I'm in my DILF era, like my future partner better be exactly like Nathan Drake or I am fighting. Like Nathan Drake is hot. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Um, the only thing that isn't sexy about him though is when he lies to his wife like he did in Uncharted 4. That's never good. Um, if you want to be a sexy man, don't lie to your wife. Comment down below if you agree. We need like a cute little item. Maybe like a candle. I did not mean to put that computer there, but he would definitely have a computer. Maybe an iPad. He can't have a TV, but maybe I'll give him an iPad instead. He would definitely play a kid's game because he's a fucking child. No, he wouldn't. Maybe he just has like these books. Like he likes to claim that he's a bookworm, but like he's definitely a poser. He's just doing it to like get bitches. This is like the closest rug I have to the vibe. So we'll just use that one. Does Lopez deserve a bed? Maybe we can give him a bunk bed. We can probably get rid of the rocking chair and get like an actual chair in there. I guess Lopez deserves a bed. Everybody deserves a bed when you really think about it. We'll give him a green chair because once again, I'm obsessed with green. What color laptop would Lopez have? Lopez gives me like blue computer vibes. Like he would have a blue computer. Colorful laptops in general, they used to be such the vibe at one point. And nowadays I feel like everybody only gets like black and white. Like what happened to colorful technology? Can we go back to that? Can we normalize colorful technology again? Yeah, I'm giving Lopez record box as well. He looks like a record player guy. Like he looks like he has a bunch of vinyl. Lopez is definitely the type of dude to have a bunch of vinyl. He just gives me that vibe since he's such a bitch. And then we'll probably give this clock to him as well, just because I need something to fill up the space. I'm kind of vibing with this so far. I still don't know what I want to do in this corner though. Like I guess the only option that I'm thinking of that could work is like maybe a shelf, maybe this, just like some bamboo in the corner. He just has them for the ambiance. He looks like the type of dude to say that if you have a lot of bamboo in your house, it's like good for your lungs or whatever, which I wouldn't be surprised if that's true. We have a lot of bamboo in our house and I would say that I don't struggle to breathe while I'm here. So maybe it's true. I think the funniest part about me saying that is that I literally have bamboo in my room. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> A macrame tapestry. I feel like all the Urban Outfitter girlies would have one. Lopez is definitely an Urban Outfitter gay. I feel like that's why I think he gives me boho vibes. He shops at Urban Outfitter. He buys his vinyl from Urban Outfitters. Would it be weird to give him this? I'm kind of a fan of this. I like the vibe overall. Of course he has to wear his musty ass tank top while I try to take these fucking photos. I think he does deserve this at the end of the day because I can't think of any reasons. Are you happy you don't live in a garbage dump anymore? You actually live in a proper house now. Is this what you wanted, Lopez? I'm keeping his exterior the same though, by the way. Ooh, it's the next day. The sunset looks so glorious right now. It's giving spooky vibes, even though it's October 6th. There's a bottle here though. Who's this bottle from? Three, two, one. Frida. Oh my God. Another new recipe. I haven't gotten a new recipe since, well, the last video, but I accidentally sold that one. But it's nice to actually get another recipe. What is that? The iron work table. Oh, anyways, here we go. We're going to see everybody's home so we can actually look at their builds. They better be home because I swear to God, every time I do these videos, they're never home the next day when I want them to be. Okay, Lopez is home. Wow, for once Lopez is doing what I want him to do. Thank you so much, Lopez. And here he is and he's cooking. Are you serious? He got rid of his bed to fucking cook. Oh, this, welcome to Le Bistro Lopez. He's not even gonna talk about, he's not even gonna thank me for his home. Are you serious, Lopez? I spent 20 minutes designing your home and you don't even have to say thank you. You're just gonna get right into yourself. Like really, you can't even fake it. And he's making spooky cookies. Okay, at least he's giving me a new recipe. Welcome to the new Chambre Lo, Chambre Lo, what? Chambre de Lopez, I know how to read French. Of course you designed the place, so you know what it's all about. But with me here, it's finally complete. Anyway, make yourself at home, kick up your feet. You've more than earned it, Crumple. Don't you have anything else to say? I'll give you a hint, it starts with the letter T. It rhymes with pank. Basic human decency, Lopez, that's all you need, idiot. I put our differences aside to give him a proper new decorated home. And he couldn't even be bothered to say thank you. It's not that hard, Lopez. And of course, Benjamin's not home, damn it. Um, excuse me, is that who I think it is? Oh my God, first of all, Teddy is running around in his pajamas. Let's ignore that. What? Hey, Maximum, can you spit? Oh my God, I thought he was gonna ask to move. <laughs> oh my God, the way that was worded. I thought he was gonna ask to move out. Wolfgang, 
I was about to scream. He wants me to buy his soft served hat, I guess. Like, sure, why not? Wolfgang, don't scare me like that. I know we have beef right now, but like, you're still my favorite villager. You're legally obligated to stay on this island no matter what. Anyways, Benjamin's right over here. And as you can see, he's getting right, he's getting along immediately with everybody. Like, look, he's only been on the island for a week and like, he's already running around all willy nilly around Whitney and Teddy. Like, if you're close with Whitney and Teddy on this island, you're in. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You know my place, the one you redecorated, that one? I like it a lot. You should come by and see what a great job you did, slay. He didn't have to say thank you, but I can tell that he's super grateful for the work that I've done. And he's able to express those feelings quite easily. Benjamin, I love you. Well, hello. I take it you're done giving me the silent treat. Hello? Who was I supposed to think, dear? I see you running about the island and not a word of hello. This is literally my first time logging in. Stop lying. My God. Can you tell that I don't play on this island often anymore? Huh? It's Maximum. How you doing? We haven't caught up lately. Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I saw you around the other day. No, you didn't. October 5th and 6th are the first time I'm playing this month. You can just say I missed you. It's been a while since we talked. You don't have to lie to make me feel guilty. What the hell, Teddy? Is Gonzo home? I ran right by his house. I didn't even notice. No, he's not home either. Ugh. Well, we can look at his exterior, though. I think it's cute. It looks a little weird next to Whitney's home, though. I should have considered that before I did it, but I don't hate it. It still matches Gonzo's vibe, so we're good with that. No, he's not. What are you wearing? Oh my god. He's dressed like me. Oh my goodness, Dobie. Are you taking fashion inspiration for me? Granted, I, I gave you these clothes, so you probably are. I popped this balloon though. Let's end off the video with what we got in this present. Comment down below what you think it is. Three, two, one. It's a retro radiator. Oh, oh my God, that's literally <laughs> my favorite wall item in the game. I got one for free. Nice. Wow, that really was a perfect way to end the video.